and welcome back to another debriefing. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, hit that notification bell. That is what is going to keep us around. While Ukrainian ground forces will soon have their stockpile of U.S.-made Javelin anti-tank missiles replenished, abetted by an influx of British Starstreak manned portable anti-aircraft missiles that can also be fired at ground targets, as we've reported, its own in-country manufactured Stunya P anti-tank missile, meanwhile, continues to be successfully used against Russian tracked and wheeled vehicles, as these recent videos show. The 71-pound Stunya P has a range between 300 feet to just over 3 miles and a flight time of a few seconds to 25 seconds, depending on the target's range. Designed to penetrate contemporary armored vehicles with combined carried or monolithic armor, including explosive reactive armor, the Stunya P can be manually fired and guided via thermal image camera and television using a joystick or it can be dispatched to its target by way of its laser-guided fire-and-forget mode. The great thing about the Stunya P, which has been to Ukrainians' benefit, is that it can be fired by anyone with no experience, and that has been a force multiplier in this war. The problem is, the numbers of these Ukrainian-made Stunya P missiles are perilously low, as is the number of Javelin missiles Ukraine's defense ministry has on hand. As we previously reported, Nearly every Ukrainian soldier, as well as trained civilians who have joined their countrymen in fighting Russians, are each fielded with an anti-tank, anti-personnel carrier missile system, and at the rate that they've been using them, as video, photographs, and first-hand witness accounts are testament to, replenishment by the United States and NATO member nations back in Ukraine can't come soon enough. But until then, Ukraine's defense ministry has continued to demonstrate just how effective the Stunya P anti-tank missile system is and why Russian ground forces fear it just as much as they fear its U.S. and Western counterparts. Also called the SCIF, the manned portable Stunya P, which had been manufactured by the Kiev-based Lush Design Bureau, can be deployed on a tripod, camouflaged, and fired remotely from nearly 200 feet from a controller that's about the size of a small laptop or tablet. The Russian occupants of the tanks and wheeled vehicles brought to their demise by the Stunya P quite simply never know what hit them. Indeed, as the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense said, Russian occupiers will not hide anywhere. Coming up on Homeland Security Off the Record, a Special Forces veteran and a counterintelligence officer on Russia's ground game. Until next time.